Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rimmel liquid lipsticks. So for those of you in the States and other areas of the world, you guys have had these since June, end of June, July, I believe. Um, they're only just launching here in Australia now. So I finally got my hands on them and I've had so many requests from you guys to do a full lip swatch video and a review on these. The colors of these look absolutely gorgeous. The packaging's beautiful. I've never tried the formula. So um, the review part of this video is going to come right at the end. Um, I'm going to go through and swatch all 12 shades on my lips, show you guys the application, uh, you know, how they apply, whether they're streaky, patchy, all of that. We're going to be super, super zoomed in so that you can see everything. And then, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts on the actual product at the end. Oh, and I did notice as well, the US uh, packaging is different to the UK uh, Australia packaging. Um, it's exactly the same product, but the uh, packaging is slightly varying. So, yeah, if you want to see swatches of all 12 shades of these, then please keep on watching. So that is it for the swatches. I hope that you found them helpful. As far as the formula goes, I actually really quite like this formula. It's a moussey texture and it does dry down to a matte, but it's not actually like a completely transfer proof matte. It's more of like a soft velvety matte kind of feel. So for me, it's not really the kind of formula that I would feel comfortable to, you know, slap on in the morning before work and then not retouch up during the day. For general day-to-day -day wear without eating, I think you'll be fine. But if you are going to be eating, make sure that you throw the color into your handbag so you are good to touch up. Now, some of the light to medium pinks were a little bit patchy on first application. They are easy to build up, but do make sure that you apply the first layer, then let it dry and then apply the second layer. Same for like the burgundies and the blue and the black. A lot of these mid-tone colors though, oh my goodness, so pigmented. I quite often struggle with red liquid lipsticks. I, I find that I have to apply a fair few layers to get full opacity, 
beautiful beautiful red and this pink same thing incredibly opaque beautiful color and um you know some of these darker pinks are amazing now the formula doesn't really have a scent to it it's quite scent free and the actual applicator oh my gosh so the actual wand that these come on i love so it's a little doe foot applicator it tapers to a point um it's quite bendy so it's really good to apply it's just a really good easy wand to work with for most of the shades i could apply it directly with the wand and i didn't have to go in and touch up with a brush a little bit different for the darker colors but it's also because I'm so pedantically neat. <laughs> but yeah, overall, a really amazing, affordable liquid lipstick and definitely great for those of you who are after like a really flat matte finish. So yes, I hope today's video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to all of you who requested this one. And yes, let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. I love you all so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.